Scientists say it's the future of medicine, a revolutionary development that could pave the way for patients to be treated with stem cells created from their own bodies. Scientists have allowed the skin cells to take on the chameleon-like properties of embryonic stem cells. They now can make any tissue in the body. Well, I think it is a major breakthrough, very much a major breakthrough, and I see it as the beginning of a possible really big movement in the area, in the whole area of science. And, and that's for several different reasons, but importantly, a lot of work is still to be done. Until now, a major stumbling block in stem cell research has been the use of embryos. Now Japanese and American researchers have overcome that using skin cells. And this is how. They injected skin cells with a virus that essentially reprogrammed the cells so that they mirrored embryonic stem cells. I must say I rather like the idea that you might present in the clinic with a disease, have a fat biopsy taken and turn the fat cells into an embryonic stem cell which could be used to treat your disease. Australian experts say the development will remove many of the ethical concerns about the use of embryos for research. The real advantage from an ethical point of view is that you wouldn't have to use a human embryo in order to obtain these cells. And because the breakthrough will allow greater access to stem cells, major advances in treating diseases could come much sooner. The sorts of diseases that might be treated using this kind of technology are those which are caused by the loss of cells or cells that have stopped working in our bodies. They're diseases like Parkinson's disease, stroke or spinal cord injury. Professor Alan Trounson, one of the world's leading embryonic stem cell researchers, says the findings will not divert attention from embryonic stem cell research, which remains the gold standard. But it would attract even more funding to the area and a much broader field of scientists. I think they'll run side by side and clearly what will happen here more and more people will come into the field and so I think the, I, I think the resources will, will, will broaden, there will be more resources made available because I think in the end we all hope there will be a simple way of taking someone's cell and making a cell that can actually cure their particular disease. Researchers have yet to establish how well the skin cells function and if